This is my footage from the November Two Gun Action Challenge match at Fairfax Rod and Gun Club. For stage one, you start uh, 10 yards uprange of the shooting positions, which are about 25 yards downrange. You are carrying a 40 pound kettlebell and you are to shoot at both steel plates in the opposite corners, one hit each, move to the center position, knock off one plate from the Texas star, move to the opposite corner and engage the targets in the opposite corners, one hit each. Repeat this process until all plates on the Texas star are knocked down. We just acquired this Texas star. So a lot of our shooters have never shot at a star before. So we designed this stage to basically go a little slow to begin with, um, to give them a chance to sort of shoot at it while it's moving slow as opposed to moving fast. Oh, you bitch. The requirement was that you take the 40 pound kettlebell with you from position to position. I chose to carry it most of the time cradled in my support hand. Um, some people just carried it and set it down. And then at the last position, I make the classic blunder of, I don't have to move anymore, but I forget to let go of it. So I shoot the last plate one handed anyway. I could have let that go too. Show clear. Shoot ready? Yeah. For this stage, you start by pulling a white or black chip out of a bag. And that's the color of the targets that you engage. Engaging the other color is a penalty. So you engage each of the steel targets on the left and right side of the bay with two hits. And then at the base of each of those uh, sets of steel plates are three Duramax balls that you have to knock over. Show clear to the RO and then move to the next firing position and engage the two steel plates on the Texas Star of the color you picked. Then move to the left or right side of the bay and engage the steel plate and then move to the opposite side of the bay and engage the steel plate. Unload, show clear. Nice job. Stand for this stage, you start by holding a 40 pound ammo can, take it to the first shooting position, and engage two three quarter, three quarter size uh, Ipsic steel targets at 100 yards with two hits each from three separate positions on the ladder. My shooting has gotten much better as the season has progressed. My hit ratios have really increased. My biggest deficiency is I'm just not a fast runner. Hopefully next season we won't be doing matches back to back anymore. So by Sunday my knees won't be destroyed. Then you run down range 50 yards to the tank trap, performing a mandatory reload and engage the two steel plates on either side of the berm with two hits each from three separate positions on the tank trap. You or the rifle must be touching the tank trap. Clear. Once you complete that engagement, you show clear to the RO, move downrange so that you are now 15 yards from the spinner and spin the spinner with your pistol. Now I can normally spin the spinner with a handgun. I just was too out of breath from sprinting 100 yards total. Damn. All right, you came. All right. For the last stage, Stand by. you are 
25 yards up range of the first shooting position, which is 100 yards from the targets. You engage the two steel targets on the left and the right side with one hit each from standing, kneeling, and prone in that order. Move downrange 25 yards and repeat the engagement. Two hits, one on each target, standing, kneeling, prone. Now you move downrange to 50 yards from the targets and engage the spinner with your rifle. This is my first time engaging a spinner with a rifle, and I managed to get it over on the very last shot I fired just before the part time. Oh. <sighs> All right. Not my best day ever. I was really oh. sore, really tired. Oh. We ran our IDPA match the day before, and the last two days were in the low 40s, and temperature just got to me. See you in the future for more match coverage.